Hi everybody, Dominic Esposito, your drill instructor. Welcome to the clinic. And I'm excited to be here with you tonight. Thanks to our sponsors, Pool and Billiard Magazine, Diamond Billiard Products, and Dr. Harrison for my great pool glasses, Prime Custom Cues, right there on the bottom. Now I am using my Optimus. So many of you have gotten it. You're asking questions. There's great videos that I've put up right on the Prime Custom Q site. You can see exactly how the zero deflection performance tapering works, the design. This is unlike any other carbon fiber shaft that's in the industry. A, it's made right here in America, not China or someplace else. B, the special design of the mold we created for this tapering has the ZDP effect, zero deflection performance. So from center, when you apply your English to the cue ball, the cue ball squirts back at center. That is a tremendous advantage to many pool players without having to calculate the compensation for deflection yourself. We'll put any tip of your choice on it. It has a lifetime warranty, an annual tip replacement automatically for you, and it's priced and produced absolutely the best of anything in the industry. Of course, we will also fit the joint to whatever your cue request is for the joint fitting, and we're good to go. Tonight, I want to talk to you about how to use Inside English. I'm getting several requests about, you know, what's the advantage? When is it proper? What is the right time? How much do you use? And I'm going to go ahead and show you where Inside English does have some real significant advantages. Okay, let's get going into our shots. When I'm practicing on rail drills, I like to use inside English, outside English, zero center access, and then of course I work with top and bottom. So you're going to want to always work with all around the cue ball so there is no situation on the rail that you're uncomfortable with. However, when we're using inside English, you can begin your drills by first of all starting from one diamond and starting from a relatively close position here. And then as you would, uh, after making a series of those, go ahead and put a ball up here on the second diamond, begin to work from there. You can bring the cue ball back into this position. And then of course, you're gonna work from this side as well, and you'll bring the cue ball back as well from here. You can also begin to extend them further down the rail and really have much more uh, to go. And in those particular cases, you want to be certain that your side here, and of course many tables, um, if you don't check, you may not know this depending on bar tables, some places where tables aren't well kept, this point could be sticking out and that could create a real problem. Otherwise, in those cases, you just as well want to be able to shoot some of these shots from further down the rail and your cue ball would be in this position as well. Now, one of the major advantages of using Inside English, there's a kind of a slang called going in English, okay? So what I'm going to do is show you that from this side. And of course, as always, you want to alternate that you're practicing from both sides. But what happens here with Inside English, first I'll describe this just for a little bit of our more, more basic player. Inside English means from the ball going to take a right side cut, you actually also apply the same side English. Same side is inside. So if this ball were spinning in this direction, if I can use this ball to illustrate, if this ball were spinning in this direction, this is the right side English, and when it makes contact, it's spinning inside, and it's gonna make contact, and this term going in English, what happens is, this causes this ball to spin in the opposite direction. What that does is when that ball hits this shim, it has a turning in action to bring that ball straight inside. And that's the reason why so many players use or like to use inside English, because if you accidentally hit that ball a little fat or a little thin, it's going to cause that ball to spray off the cushion, out. But with going in English, if you hit anywhere on the shim of the pocket, 
that turns the ball in and there's a major reason for doing that. So just take it, start with center ball and then apply one tip of English, pre-stroke and then release the shot and watch and see what your reaction is. Now, in that case, if your reaction caused you to hit the ball first and it springs out, you have to make compensation for deflection adjustments. This is why anytime you add spin to the cue ball, it complicates the shot. And that's what often happens why so many players hate rail shots. And the reason is because they can't calculate the compensation of deflection. So this is a big deal. When you've got a ball frozen to the cushion and you put one tip of left English and then you discover you actually hit the ball first, you're gonna have to actually aim further more to the right until you can actually calculate it. Now one of the advantages of having the Optimus shaft with zero deflection performance, when I come down on this shot and I just automatically apply one tip of English, you're going to see a big difference. That ball actually still just goes straight as when I was at the actual center section access of that cue ball. So that is a really big difference for you to give some consideration to. Okay, so the major way and the major reason for using inside English on rail shots is to take advantage of that going in spin. And that's why, remember, if it's a left side cut, the left side spin creates inside English. Right side cuts, the right side spin creates right side inside English. So that's the first thing you want to know about when and why to use going in English, inside English, when you're doing your rail shots. Another reason for using inside English is when you're going to be striking balls that are not on the cushion, but they're off the cushion, anywhere from one to two inches, and you're looking to create a forward roll to the cue ball for the sake of some type of a position that you want to make. And inside English, once again, it is going to create that inside turning English, but a real key advantage to it is when I'm here and watch what happens, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take this shot. Again, one tip of English and look what happens. See how that cue ball just travels down and comes back? Okay, but I missed the five ball. So what happened? Once again, I'm pointing this out because if I don't point this out, so many of you, you take shots like this You'll miss them like that, or you'll hit to the side rail and you'll flutter in the pocket and you're wondering, why am I having a problem or I hate these shots or why did this happen to me? The reason it happened is because you did not, let me look at you closer, you did not calculate the compensation of deflection from your shaft correctly. And that's with only one tip of English. Now using inside English, on shots like this is so advantageous for creating position on the cue ball. But you have to do this same exercise I'm going to show you again in order to learn the compensation calculation of your shaft so that you can pocket these balls and take advantage of what Inside English does. If you have an Optimus shaft, this is automatically built in for you. Now, in that case here, I caused the ball intentionally to hit down here on the top rail. If you hit the point, it could have sputtered out and came off to the side. And then you could have had a collision problem with the cue ball coming down and actually running into that ball. There just can be all types of things that go wrong. But once again, what you're going to do as a drill, when you're setting up this shot, when you take aim, and you aim with the center of your center, center ball. Aim center ball. Make sure your aim is secure. Then apply your English. One of the things players do that is so wrong is you come down to the cue ball with English already applied 
and you don't even know if your aim is right or not. You can't calculate and compensate for deflection when you're already off to the side of the cue ball. So I want you to do this the drill instructor way. Come down with center ball. Make sure that you know that you know that you know, okay, I got this aim perfectly. Then apply your English. Once you've applied your English, take the shot, and you can have confidence you'll make the ball. But once again, the purpose of inside English, and that was only at one tip at 3 o'clock. There was no top on that ball or bottom. That was just one tip of 3 o'clock, and notice how that cue ball ventured out. Look at the possibility if I were playing a finishing shot in an eight ball game and here was my eight ball right here in the cushion and there was my shot right there in the ten ball and here it is right there. You say, well, why don't you just pop it and come back? Well, you know, sometimes you might have an opponent who still has a few balls left on the table and that's not the route to go. One of the main reasons you want to become proficient at using inside English is because that's the path of the cue ball you need to take in order to take the shape that you're looking for to make your eight ball. So once again, get down in your shot with confidence that with center ball, I know I've made this. Apply your tip of English, take the shot, let the cue ball roll, and then from there you can determine, is that enough ball speed? I only hit that with a simple four-speed shot stroke, and I've got perfect shape now that I can make my eight ball. I got around these obstacles. I went sufficiently to what my inside English should have done for me, but this is what you'll do when it's off the rail. Okay, let's go on and look at another reason to use inside English. Another great reason for using inside English is if you're going to put bottom or draw on the cue ball, inside English closes the angle of the natural angle a cue ball will draw out as it caroms or from the collision with the object ball. As an example, if I were to take this exact same shot here and look at this angle that I have to shoot in, if I were to use straight draw on this cue ball, the normal angle out would be here to come out, but if I used bottom inside, bottom inside draw, it would close this angle, and that might be so important for how I make position on the next ball that I need to shoot. Let's go ahead and take a look at this and see just how that turns out. So here's this exact shot, and let me go ahead and put a mark on this right here on the table. Put another mark on this and watch the ball's going to go dead center pocket. And this is going to be with straight two tips of bottom on this ball. Ready? Here goes. So let's go ahead and mark that, okay? And you can see the position where that ball stops. Now we're going to take the same setup right from here and for whatever reason I need a tighter angle. I need a tighter angle. I'm going to use the inside, remember it's a left side cut, so inside would be left side of center on my cue ball. I'm still going to pocket the cue, this object ball in the center of the pocket, but note what's going to happen now this time once again, I'm two tips of bottom. This time I'm going to use one tip of inside. Let's watch the angle of the cue ball. Now look at this position where this ball has come in. And what we can do is we can see with the line sticks, this is inside and this is regular bottom. Two tips of bottom. To one tip of inside. And in fact, if I would have drew it back to the same position, perpendicular to that line, look at the dramatic difference. One full diamond. I saved one full diamond of distance by taking that inside English and causing that cue ball to shorten the angle coming in. 
Okay? The same thing is true if you apply follow. Okay? What we're going to do is we're going to take that same shot, let's set it up, and let's go ahead and put a straight on cue. In this case, watch what's going to happen with two tips atop, pocketing that ball in the center. Now, this is the angle that we came out to right here. So we'll actually go ahead and put that projection right on there if we can. There we go. Got it. You can see that. We'll line up another shot and watch what happens when I apply inside this time two tips atop, two tips inside. Watch what happens. It pushed. It actually pushed this out of the way because while it was coming here, the first cue ball here and with the same two tips atop, still center pocket, only one tip inside, and look at how much more the cue ball closed the angle. It closed the angle. So this is so important for draw or follow that you realize the advantage of inside English. Let me show you one more really cool way that inside English could benefit you. Let's take the same shot and instead of actually coming off the ball in this direction where I'm going to come away from it, watch what's going to happen where I now have more of an angle to put this ball in. Let's go ahead, we'll mark that so it's the same. Now this is, we're gonna put the, we're gonna put this one right here. Now, two tips at top. Watch what happens here. That was our touch point right there. And, <clears throat> We can see the exact position that the ball comes out to, okay? Let's take the same shot here, here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move this out of the way just so I don't hit it. And watch what happens this time with two tips atop, one tip inside. Wow, what a difference. What a difference. From this exact same position, depending on the shape that I need, I can, from here or from here, look at the amount of the angle that I save using inside English. And this is so important because you could have been trying to make shape on the winning ball right there. Now I have a perfect straight in shot. To try to have gotten this ball to just roll in this direction and stop where it needed to stop, as opposed to being more outward, I have much more control that from virtually any angle here, I have a much better position shooting at that. Inside English is a great way to take advantage Inside English is such a great way to take advantage of controlling your cue ball path, making shape on your next shot by controlling the angles that are affected. The going in, in the remember the inside spin off the shim, the going in, in going in, going in English. <laughs> that's the slang, that's going in English. Well, whatever you might want to phrase that at, inside English is a great way to cause your rail shots to spin in off the shim, make great shape for your next position, whether you're using follow or draw, closes the angle, and that really gives you some real advantage. Now, whether you're going one, two, or three tips at top, or one, two, or three tips at bottom, one tip of inside is probably sufficient for 70% of all the shots you'll ever need inside English for. And that 
complicates the shot the least. Two tips of Inside English. Now you're going to have some serious issues, especially with the compensation of your deflection, calculating that compensation. And I showed you two error ways of recognizing if the ball comes off inaccurately because you're hitting it too fat or too thin when it's frozen to the cushion or the same when it's off the cushion, as I did both of those shots for you. You're going to have to learn that compensation. But if you go to Prime Custom Cues, PrineCustomCues.com, where I've created with Mr. Harold Prine, that's Prine Custom Cues, Harold, the Optimus shaft is made specifically for zero deflection performance tapering. It has that specially molded design so that your deflection is coming right back to center access of that cue ball, which is where you should have started at. And this is gonna give you such great advantages. So please go check out the videos that we've put up to show how our zero deflection performance tapering really works in action and get your Optimus shaft, carbon fiber shaft today. Remember, lifetime warranty, annual tip replacement, any tip of your choice when we put it together for you, and the pin to fit your perfect you, your choice. And thank you so much. I'm your drill instructor. Aim straight, shoot straight, split the pockets. That's the drill instructor way, including with Inside English. I'll see you next week. I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.